Warning, part of this video is going to suck. Some things are just not easy or quick. Remember when this channel used to be about After Effects? Hey, and welcome to Blendin Effects. If you're new to this series, I, an After Effects art, let's say, person of After Effects understanding, have been exploring the free open source 3D program Blender. I'm not interested in becoming a 3D artist, that's a different skill set and there's plenty of tutorials for that, but a big component of VFX can be incorporating 3D objects, so I've been looking at Blender to understand how to use it from an After Effects perspective. In this episode, I want to look at importing a .blend file and converting it for use in Video Copilot's Element 3D. If I was using Helium X's Helium plugin, or indeed the upcoming release of After Effects which will include 3D model import, then the Blender side of things will be the same. And yes, you could also use these techniques to import the model into the included Cinema 4D Lite. All four ways to use 3D models in After Effects except OBJ files. For my Nexus Ribbon episode, I found this amazing model of the Enterprise B from the legendary Chris Kuhn, who seems to have recreated every sci-fi spaceship and it's a simple matter of opening the model in Blender. Oh yeah, the interface has changed. I guess Chris likes this look. If you prefer to keep the layout as you know it, when you open the model, click on the cogwheel and uncheck the box load UI. Then click open. And here's the model. If I switch to the first viewport shading, I get to see all the image textures included. Now to save the model, it's a straightforward case of going to File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. And in After Effects, I have a layer with Element already on it. And click on Scene Setup. And through Import, I select my new Enterprise OBJ model. And then click the Normalize Size checkbox. And there we go! If this video has made sense so far, please consider liking it. It really helps with YouTube's suggestions apparently and makes me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile making these tutorials. Back to the model though, you'll notice that there are no image decals like the name or the ship number. These have not been exported with the model. OBJ files come with a companion MTL file and I can see the details about each material, so that's why I can see the shading. But I have no access to the image textures. If I jump back to Blender, I can go to File, External Data, and in this case Unpack Resources appears greyed out, but if I click on it, a menu appears and I can choose Use Files in Current Directory. This gives me a folder of all the image textures. So now, if I switch to the shading layout, then using the Object Panel, I can expand the model to each mesh to see the little texture ball and I can see the names for each material. And these have come through to Element 3D. It's a long, drawn out case of working through each material, recreating them in Element. In this top example, White Paneling Decals uses Decal Sheet Enterprise B. So in Element, I can link that into the Diffuse. I did say parts of this video are going to suck. In the end, I went and found a Cinema 4D model by Alex3D instead and Cinema 4D's materials are laid out in a way which more closely matches Element, so it was easier to match the images from that file. And yes, I could have just stuck with the model in C4D Lite, but I find that program quite slow going, I have to set up lights in that, and I think I get a better result in Element 3D. If you disagree, you're welcome to tell me all about it in the comments, but then you are watching a video on using Blender instead of C4D, so I'm guessing you don't. Unless you're one of those hate watchers, did you watch Traitors and cheer on the Traitors? Actually, I did that too. Anyway, in theory, you should be able to avoid all this texture linking shenanigans by baking a UV map in Blender, which would give you a single image with everything on it. I spent 10 hours yesterday working through some of the worst Blender tutorials on YouTube trying to get this to work. I'm sorry Blender community, but a lot of the tutorials out there are almost impossible for a newbie to follow. I eventually discovered that baking an overall UV texture will only work if there is currently only one UV map used on the model. Chris Coons had four. Now, in fairness to the Blender community, they could rightly say, 
why are you exporting from Blender when you can animate your model directly in this software? And they're right, of course, if you want to become a 3D artist. The moral of the story is you absolutely can use Blender to convert models for After Effects, and in a lot of cases, this will work fine. However, if your model loads correctly in Blender, but subsequently does not import into After Effects the way you want, give up. I know that sounds extreme, but trust me, as a new user to Blender, there are too many steps and too many pitfalls you can't avoid, and you'll end up wasting all your time. Either find a new model, or maybe even contact the creator and ask them. Or animate in Blender and import a video of that to After Effects.